We're a little more than two weeks away from the start of college basketball. For the Liberty Flames, it'll be year three under head coach Richie McKay, and the expectations are high. The Flames were picked to finish third in the Big South preseason standings, and the Flames returned four starters from last year's 21-win team. I want to have a chance to win every time we suit up, and uh, I think we have a great schedule this year. I think our fans and our community will get a chance to see some really quality opponents come into the vines, especially with the Paradise Jam uh, being uh, something that we're going to have an opportunity to host. Uh, but I, I just hope we keep uh, we keep growing and competing for a conference championship. The Flames also returned 74% of their scoring from last year, including preseason second-team all-conference selections Ryan Kemright and Georgie Pacheco-Ortiz. After making 33 starts and leading the team in assists as a true freshman, Pacheco-Ortiz played during the summer for the Puerto Rican national team in the FIBA U19 World Cup. The sophomore point guard enters this season with more confidence. Like this year, it's going to be good for me just because just I had this experience over the summer. And like I said, I just feel more comfortable with myself, my confidence, and I know what to expect in the next, uh, this year. Kem Wright averaged a career best 13 points per game last season and shot 42% from downtown. Entering his redshirt senior year, Kem Wright is one of the top shooters in the Big South. I would have rather been all team defense because maybe Coach Susie would have been. Uh, a little bit quieter about me in film, but no, it's always great to get recognized for any sort of effort that we have. And I mean, Georgie deserved it, and there's other guys on our team that definitely deserved it as well, you know. And props to them; they're the ones who bring it every day. And me and Georgie just get to be here, and we're the ones who get recognized. But it's it's a whole team effort with the pack at the end of the day, and that's what we're about. The Flames hope to take their pack line defense to the next level this year. Liberty led the Big South in scoring defense and ranked 19th nationally last year, allowing just 63 points per game. While effective, the pack is still a difficult defense to run. You got to be in shape. So if you're not in shape, you're going to get tired probably in the, last, in the first 10 seconds of the shot clocks. But other than that, the, uh, it's a great defense. So and. But the tough is just, you know, you can't, you can't rest off the ball. The pack line is something that the more you do, the better at it you get. And we're bringing the new guys along pretty quickly. You know, the uh, older guys are helping them. And they're picking up fast. So I think we're going to do what we always do. We're going to lock in. We're going to play defense every single day. I, I see glimpses of that where we, we, we have the system down. There's a little less um, going back to the classroom, if you will, and, and – uh, grinding out some of the fundamentals because they've already been learned and the habits have been built. Uh, but we still have five or six new guys that are going to play. One of those newcomers includes six foot seven Bradley transfer Scotty James. After sitting out last year, the redshirt sophomore should add depth to the four position, along with Caleb Holmesley, who's nearly a year removed from the ACL surgery that ended his season last December. Holmesley was Liberty's leader in points, rebounds, and assists at the time of the injury. You know, if Caleb Holmesley gets healthy and he gets back, he would give us a, another uh, opportunity to stretch the four position. But in Scotty James, Isaiah Williams, the newcomers, Brendan Newton's had a fabulous start, although we're going to redshirt him. Uh, and then you got returners, Ezra's really improved, and Mayo's, Mayo's really good. So I feel like, yeah, we have a significant amount of, of different options that are new and improved. McKay is hoping Holmesley will be healthy by December. Managing minutes for him, the newcomers, and the returning starters will be one of the biggest tests for the Flames early on. I just want to put myself in positions to help the team. That's really what it comes down to at the end of the day. And whether I play 40 minutes or four minutes, it doesn't matter to me. I just want to help the team win. And if that involves me scoring, that involves me rebounding, I'll try to do whatever it takes to win. Guys that have played a lot of minutes might get less minutes. And guys that are used to being stars on their team or uh, playing a ton, they, they might not have as as much uh, shine to their, their name. So uh, will, will, we, will we stay with a great sense of unity when individually the accolades or the light that shine on us was so strong and so bright, it's dimmed a little bit for Liberty's advancement. And if we, if we humble ourselves and we do that, I think great things are gonna happen. Liberty opens the season at home November 10th against Clark Summit. The Flames will also host the Paradise Jam Tournament November 17th through the 19th in the Vine Center. Big South play begins December 30th at Gardner-Webb. For the Liberty Flame Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.